tutorial today i am going to be showing you guys how to do your tax compliance and get your tax compliance pin actually i i'm just going to help with the tax compliance pin the document right you want the document for whatever reason for other people to kind of be able to um find your tax compliance so this is used a lot when people want to apply for funding and other stuff so or just to have your your document to show that you're compliant you're compliant with SARS right so yeah let's get into it um what you will need for this video you will need your company documents ready you will need chrome um the 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 the, the internet browser you will need a pdf reader a very reliable pdf reader so let us get into it first what you're gonna do is get into chrome so um please guys bear with me because i'm recording this without like i'm re I'm not recording it while it's happening so i will just kind of explain what i'm doing so I'm, now i'm closing like all the windows that i've opened the first thing i'm gonna do is open up another window and like type out uh sars about SARS inquiry system I mean query system and then look for um, www.sars.gov.za and also underneath it's going to be written send us a query so you need to look for that link that says send us a query on google get into that and then it will send us straight to the query system on sars we are using the query system then on this page on this page you will click on verify i think No, you will click on, uh, click here to submit your, yes, you, you'll click on click here to submit your, I'm sorry, like I said, I'm doing this part while I am watching it. So, on here you will fill in the form and you will choose good standing on that one. And then you'll fill out all your company registration numbers. And on entity type, you're going to put in your company. You're going you're gonna to select company on entity type. And on active months, you're going to put 12 months. And then on tax type, it's going to be income tax. And then you're going to choose registration number. And then you're going to look for your tax number on your CIPC documents 14.3. That's the name of the document. So it's there underneath your 
financial year end the text number you will copy as you can see i'm copying and pasting that and going back to that page and pasting that there you can also type it out and then after you submitted that form you're gonna they're gonna give you a capture text so that you can type it out if it's caps you type caps you type the, exactly what is written there on that bar and then you validate after you validate there's a new form you're gonna have to uh there's a new form you're gonna have to fill in and then you're gonna have to fill in that your id number everything you just gonna follow what they say you should fill in on country you're gonna write down south africa or wherever you from and then on there you're gonna put on you put in your number your phone number and then on where i'm pointing right now is my uh, text practitioners details because they are the ones who did my text before but for me to request my own you will have to follow these following steps to request your own if you have the same problem as me but usually um people have their own details there so they just press submit but for people who have the same problem as me they need to like uh, still go through the process then on this section you have to click one of these you are a representative you're not a text practitioner so you will choose uh, the representative side you won't choose the, the 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 text practitioner side or partnership you see the other side is partnership so you're not going to choose the partnership side but for now right now i'm trying it out the partnership side so that i can show you it's very not practical because it's not gonna allow you to put in your email address but on the side of the uh um, text representative you can put in your details on there so the best option is the text representative you put in your id and then you put in your mobile number and your email address because that's where you're going to get the actual document and then you put in your date of birth i think this is just for confirmation that it's you and then after that you will just check if you've done everything and submit when i tried to submit and i tried to submit it it tells me what i did wrong so on con uh, customer code you won't put anything on there and i did make a mistake on my id number so i have to fix that and then resubmit that you will get the capture code again and then you have to text it out and validate and submit again and then you will get a message that says correspondence is issued and then you will go back to your email you will find a document there that says tcs approved that document now needs to be opened that's where the pdf the reliable pdf comes in now 
because this is what you're gonna see but it's the actual document that you need to uh, open so this is where people get confused right so you download the the document and try to open it with the reliable pdf reader do this on your pc not on your phone because it's not it's really not gonna work if you do it on your phone so i have another video that i'm gonna make on how to open this document actually it's already there i'll just put put it in the description and also put it at the end of this video so that you can watch how to open this document please like and subscribe if this helped please watch the next video because that's where you're gonna see how to open the 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 the, 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 the this document please download the pdf reader in my description on your computer not on your phone um like subscribe like i said please because it helps a lot with the channel especially if you use content like this a lot and you need content like this uh please share it to your friends and family who use content like this or may use it in the future i have a lot of stuff that i want to um make tutorials on so if you can just comment down below what um i can make a tutorial on anything that's um internet related like if you want a tutorial on how to download the latest software or like something that you need to do online i can find it out and then i'll make a tutorial and if you have any questions maybe you have another problem that is not related to this but ha is related to SARS but not related to um, or maybe it's another problem that you have you can also contact me on my Facebook page it's sketch docs with Nani on Facebook it's a page and also um, I'm gonna leave a link to the group to the um, sorry the um, the page I think I should also do a group um so that we can ask each other questions but i will do um i do have a page and i'll also leave my number on the description i give help for a small amount of money thank you so much for watching this one and see you on the next one